There are several photographs of Washington's Mount Rainier at sunrise and sunset, showing what appears to be clouds lit from underneath, casting the mountain's shadow upwards. Globe believers often cite these photographs as proof that the sun must be physically beneath the cloud cover to cause this effect, and that therefore the earth is confirmed globular, because in the flat earth model, the sun never physically drops beneath the horizon. At first glance, this may seem a reasonable assumption, but further investigation into the phenomenon reveals otherwise. To begin with, there are endless examples of photos and videos showing ambient or reflected light illuminating surfaces from underneath and casting object shadows upwards, even though the actual physical light source is far above both. A common example of this is midday sunlight shining through a window, reflecting off the floor and casting shadows of the room's furniture onto the ceiling. In this case, the light source is far above both the furniture and house, yet the ceiling is being illuminated from underneath and the furniture shadows are being cast upwards. Therefore, this effect can, and does, happen regularly without the light source needing to physically drop below the object and surface in question. In all of these photographs, the top of the mountain is above the cloud line, so the shadow that globe believers assume must be the bottom portion of the mountain being cast upwards could just as readily be the top portion of the mountain being cast downwards. It is only their confirmation bias deciding it must be the former, as further observation shows it is definitively the latter. Video time lapses of such mountain sunrises and sunsets, unlike these cherry-picked photos, show that, in reality, the shadow is actually always atop the clouds, from the moment it first appears until the last moment it fades away. There is no time during the shadow's daily existence in which it ever switches from casting downwards onto the tops of the clouds to casting upwards onto their bottoms, as it must in the globe model. Furthermore, if the sun was truly dropping below the height of the mountain at sunset and casting its shadows upwards, time-lapse footage would have to show the shadow first begin projecting onto the furthest clouds near the horizon, and then drawing back towards those nearest. But in reality, what always happens is the shadow begins its projection at midday onto the nearest clouds, and slowly extends its way out towards the horizon before disappearing at sunset. Likewise, at sunrise, the opposite happens, and the shadow begins already fully extended to the horizon and slowly shrinks until disappearing at midday. Therefore, rather than being proof of the ball earth, these observations are actually completely inconsistent with the globe model and only possible on a plain earth where the sun is always physically above the clouds.